Hey guys, Liam's DIY channel here, and today I'm showing you how to seal the bare plaster ready for painting. Now, you may wonder why we have to seal it. Um, it's a simple job, but very important, because if you don't and you apply normal paint, basically the plaster would literally just suck all the moisture out of the paint, and that's how it starts flaking and peeling, and then... You have to sand it all down and start again, and it's a whole big mess. Um, so, before we start, obviously we need to mix up our our mist coat, it's called. Um, so, I'll take you over now and show you how to mix it up. Right, right guys, so, we've got our paint, it's our white paint in this pot. I mean, you can't really tell on the camera, but I've only filled it about, you know, an inch, inch and a half high. And we've got fresh clean water here. So all you do, tip the water into your paint. By the way, this is just normal white emulsion paint. Just Leyland, you know. You can use any emulsion, that's fine. You don't need to buy the expensive plaster cedar that they make. I mean, this method's better because um, you're adding the, you can add as much water in as you want. Um, basically, there's no real ratio to it. You just want more water than paint, obviously. And then you need to mix it all together. And you, I'm just using a paintbrush because I only need a little bit. But for example, obviously if you're doing a wall or a room, you need a bit more. So you, know, you can use a stick, a bit of batten or something to mix it up. Now it's called a mist coat for a reason because it looks misty when you paint it on the plaster, yeah? And make sure you're using clean water, obviously. And that's basically okay. That's the consistency you want. You see it dripping off the brush? I mean, it is a very messy job because, you know, it's very watery, so be prepared to get covered in paint when you're rolling. <laughs> um, so obviously if you're doing your room and you've got carpet down, make sure you cover your carpets with sheets. Right, back to the wall. Right, so now we've got our bucket over here, our pot. Literally, it's the same as he's painting, you chuck it on. Uh, you can see, you know, how runny and watery it is, yeah? Um, but this is good. Because like I said, you know, the, the plaster literally sucks all the moisture out and this will be dry in literally a couple of minutes, if that. Just make sure you get off all the runs, obviously. Now, I recommend doing two coats, just so you know it's properly sealed then, because the last thing you want is your paint starting to peel off. And as you can sort of see, that's, that's the bare plaster, that's where we've applied our paint. It looks misty, doesn't it? That's why they call it a mist coat. And the, it's literally bone dry already. So, you know, clean finger, it's dry. <laughs> You know, that's how quick it sucks the moisture out. That's why, you know, it's good to add more water than you need. And there we have it. I mean, I'll do this second coat now so you can see. Yeah, same method, you're just painting it on. Any runs you're getting, make sure you go over it. So you've got a smooth finish. I'm not going to show you this top bit now because, you know, you'll be bored after a little while. It's the same, same process. And also, you can put it on with a roller as well as a brush if you're doing a wall. It's the same method, you know. Obviously, the bigger the the wall, the more 
paint you need. Um, I mean, if you do want a video of me showing you how to do a wall or a ceiling, leave a comment down below and I'll uh, make one for you. But that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one, guys. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. Cheers, bye.